Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. In this channel there are over 200 Excel training videos. The program that works hand in glove with Excel is called Visual Basic and by learning Visual Basic you can greatly expand the possibilities of what you can do in Microsoft Excel. Today in this first Visual Basic training video we're going to create something very simple called a message box. But before I can do that, I need to see up here in the tabs a tab called Developer. If you don't see the Developer tab, you need to click on File, Options, then go to Customize the Ribbon and put a tick in Developer and then click OK. That now shows us the Developer tab. And when I click on the Developer tab, I see on the left of the ribbon a group called Code, which contains various commands. Two important commands we'll be using this time are Visual Basic and Macros. We'll be looking at the other three as time goes on. Just a point there, if you are not already a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe because then you'll be automatically notified of new Visual Basic training uploads as they take place. But at this stage, what I want you to do is to click on the Visual Basic command. And what that does, that opens the Visual Basic for Applications window, book one, the name of the file, and here I see in the left hand corner the fact that we are looking at a Visual Basic project called book one with some objects. First of all, an object is sheet 1 called create a message box as we saw earlier and we're in this particular file. Now the first thing we need to do is to use the insert tab and click module and when we click module Visual Basic gives us an area in which to type a routine. So the routines are held in modules and to insert that module I simply click insert module. Now the next thing to do is to type the word sub. All routines start with the word sub and it's a good idea to give your routine a name which is very easily recognized later because as time goes on you'll have lots of subs in your Visual Basic uh, programming. We're going to call this one message box. followed by an open and a close bracket and when I press enter Visual Basic automatically adds for me an end sub in other words when I type the routine at the flashing insertion point and it has run that routine it will then end this particular procedure now what we need to know is that Visual Basic works on command names and it is important that as time goes on we learn these command names. The first one we're going to use is a uh, very easily uh, uh, learnt command called message box and it is msg box followed by a space and then in double quotes what you want to see within the message box and we we're going to make ourselves a genius. I am a genius and this will be you. You're patting yourself on the back here. And then when I click away, there is my routine. Starts with a sub with a name, two double quotes, the message box, which is the Visual Basic command, followed by text and double quotes that you want to see appear in the message box, and then end that routine. Now, to run the routine, there are two ways. Actually, there are more than that, but the two popular ways uh, to click the green arrow which will run the sub or you can click on the Excel button which will enable you to run the macro by an extra double by an extra click alternatively you can click the run button here but we'll use the green arrow let's see what happens when I click the run procedure run I am a genius well done well done, you are a genius because you've just created your first Visual Basic routine. Let's click OK and we are taken back to Visual Basic 
let's run it again run and I am a genius well done okay so that ends today's lesson as I said before remember to subscribe because there will be uh, regular lessons updated and you'll be notified in your email as I do so thank you so much for watching uh, remember to practice that's really the name of the game and I'll be showing you a couple of little tricks in the next uh, next video which will enable you to learn the commands in Visual Basic that little more quickly again thank you for watching bye for now